What's up guys, Jeff from Sorta Healthier. We've got an interesting topic to discuss today, and that is how to get rich as a personal trainer. The idea to make this video has been in my head for a good while now. I often peruse the subreddit our personal training as well as a handful of Facebook groups that all have to do with being a trainer. One thing I often see when I'm scrolling is a person who wants to make a good amount of cash fast, or at the very least, they want to know how they can make $100,000 a year or more as a trainer or something like that. Essentially, a lot of new trainers want to know how to get rich or at the very least wealthy. To be honest, I don't know that we should blame anyone for wanting that. Money is important. I finally decided to pull the trigger on this video idea when I saw the guys over at Mind Pump had also discussed it. I generally have a similar take on things compared to them, at least when it comes to training. For all the Mind Pump fans out there, we'll be discussing the Mind Pump crew in today's video since I think they represent a few things that we'll be discussing very well. Anyways, before we get into all the juicy details, all I ask is that you consider supporting the channel. All you have to do is like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. This tells YouTube that this content is good and then YouTube shares it with more people. It's really what allows us to keep doing our thing over here at Sorta Healthy. Thank you for that support everyone, it's very much appreciated. Moving on to the rest of the video. So before we get into the topic at hand, what makes me qualified to talk about the subject of getting rich as a personal trainer? I myself am not rich and I am a personal trainer. In fact, I've been a personal trainer for about 10 years now and I own a business that employs other personal trainers and I'm still not rich. I actually released a video almost four months ago on how much money I made in 2021. If you're interested in that, I recommend that you watch that video because I break down pretty much exactly how much money I made last year. And I also break down my multiple revenue streams that all pay me simultaneously. I want you to hold on to that phrase, multiple revenue streams in your head, because that will be popping up throughout our discussion today. Anyways, what makes me qualified to discuss getting rich as a personal trainer? Even though I am by no means rich, in my early 30s, I have achieved a level of success that is somewhat rare within the industry. I only work for myself, I personally make about $100,000 a year give or take, I employ other trainers, and I have multiple revenue streams. My businesses together bring in around $200,000 a year before expenses. None of this is me trying to brag by the way, all I'm trying to do is let you know that there is credibility behind what I'll be saying in this video. Anyways, the numbers that I just described to you put me in the 90 something if percentile of trainers, meaning that I make more money than 90 something percent of trainers out there, at least according to salary.com. When you factor in that these numbers are self-reported and the amount of money trainers make is probably even a little bit lower than this in real life, things do get a little concerning if your goal is to get rich as a trainer. This next part might be painful for some of you to hear. That being said, I think me sharing it will help a good handful of you. It's either impossible or very close to impossible to get rich from just personal training. And to be honest, mathematically, it's easy to see why this is the case. Most of the highest paid trainers are self-employed. There are definite downsides to being self-employed, such as having to pay higher taxes, being responsible for overhead, health insurance, etc. But that being said, being able to make 100% of the profits on training sessions should still offset all of that stuff pretty easily, at least from a purely monetary perspective. There are different estimates on what the average personal trainer charges. Lessons.com says the average personal trainer costs about $40 to $90 an hour. Let's say you live in an affluent area area where you can charge $80 an hour for training. We'll also say you're averaging 35 sessions a week at that price point. This probably equals about 45 to 50 hours of work a week. You'll have to be doing a whole bunch of other tasks due to being self-employed, not to mention there is more to training than just working with clients. We'll also say that you're working 50 out of 52 weeks in a year. So our session cost again is $80. We're averaging 35 sessions a week and we're working 50 weeks a year. This equals $140,000 in a year. After expenses, overhead, plus taxes, this trainer is probably making right around $100,000 a year if they're lucky. So a fully booked trainer who's charging slightly more than average is probably making right around six figures. There may be a few trainers watching right now who live in places like New York City, Los Angeles, San Francisco, or any other pricey city where they could charge considerably more for training than the $80 an hour that I used as an example. Of course, in areas like that, you'll make more money because you can charge more. That being said, it would wouldn't really matter too much because the higher cost of living in those areas would offset any extra income. So when it comes down to it, this $100,000 cap is pretty much about as good as you can do as someone who only does personal training. Like we said, in some areas, you probably could make a bit more than that. But in those areas where you could make more, there is almost certainly a considerably higher cost of living anyways. Anytime you have a job where you're trading your time for money, the likelihood of you becoming rich doing that thing is very low. Obviously in training, this is literally what we're doing. 
doing. People are paying money for our time. Jobs that have a huge barrier to entry, like being a doctor or a lawyer, those are exceptions to the trading time for money rule. You can, of course, become rich as a doctor or lawyer because your hourly rate is so high, and that's because you have to have a very specialized skill set to do those jobs. You can become a trainer in a very short period of time with little skill, so it makes sense that our hourly rate would be lower. So in recap, if your only source of revenue is personal training, you essentially can't get rich. You could possibly become wealthy and make around $100,000 a year if you're maximizing your profits, but that's about as well as you could do. And unfortunately, I don't even know if $100,000 a year is considered wealthy anymore. With the rising costs of everything, aka inflation, I wouldn't consider that an extraordinary amount of money at the time of recording this video. Anyways, what are your thoughts on all of this stuff? Be honest, did you get into training for the money? Make sure to let me know down in the comments. If you didn't get into training for the cash, why did you get into it? Let me know that in the comments too. So if you can't get rich as a trainer, then why are there so many rich trainers? Well, first of all, there aren't many rich trainers. For better or worse, the people that are more likely to report their incomes are the ones who make more money. So naturally, trainers who make a higher than average wage are more likely to talk about their income compared to trainers who are just barely getting by. This is certainly the case for me. When I was a broke trainer, which I was for a good while, I never talked about my income. Now that I'm doing pretty well, I talk about it. Like, literally right now in this video. That's just how it goes. Even trainers who make an above average amount of money aren't rich though, as we've established. And this is where we circle back around to our buddies over at Mind Pump. Sal, Adam, and Justin are the three hosts of Mind Pump, which is a popular fitness podcast that often has useful information for trainers. And I think no one would argue that these three aren't highly successful. All three of them were well-established trainers when the show started, and I have no doubt that all of them were already somewhat well-off financially by that point. That being said, you didn't know about them, and they weren't rich before their podcast took off and other revenue streams started pouring in. At some point, Sal sold off his wellness center, and the other two hosts also seem to have narrowed their focus to the Mind Pump show and the businesses related to that. Basically, my point here is that in order to take their careers to the next level, the Mind Pump guys realized that they would have to get away from trading time for money and pretty much only focus on their show. I'm sure selling those MAPS programs does get them a pretty penny. I think you'd find a pretty similar pattern with the more successful online trainers as well. I have nothing against online training at all, but I would consider it an entirely different service compared to personal training. Anyway, some of the top online trainers are rich because when you're doing online personal training, you're typically not devoting as much of your time to any one client. Since you're not devoting as much time to anyone, you can work with more people. Some online trainers have figured out ways to employ other online trainers and then have those other online trainers train clients for them. If you have enough online trainers working underneath you, well, of course, you could make some real money. That being said, I've seen online training go from a fringe thing to a highly competitive, possibly oversaturated market in a short period of time. I don't think anyone watching this video should expect to get rich easily by doing any form of online training now. If you're just entering that world, expect to be working hard and against a lot of well-established competition. Then you also have people like me that try to run our own businesses and grow our incomes that way. Running your own business is a hard life and as I stated before, I am not rich. One thing I've started to do fairly well over the past five years though, is diversify my streams of income. I currently have five different streams of income. The first is what I make personally by training clients in my facility. The second is what I make when other trainers train clients in my facility. The third is rental income from my house. I own a duplex and live in one side and rent out the other side. The fourth is this YouTube channel. And the fifth are my investments in the stock market, which I've gotten much more into investing in the market in the past three to four years. And I firmly believe that if you're self-employed, investing into the market is pretty much essential for retirement. My market investments have started to pay me some somewhat respectable returns as well, but I won't be sharing those today. I could see myself doing so at some point in the future though. My stock market investing philosophy mostly comes from finance YouTubers Graham Stephan, Andre Jick, and Jeremy, I don't really know how to pronounce his last name. But all three of these guys are great and you should check them out. I believe in investing in quality companies over long periods of time and that's all I'll say on that for now. Anyways, I'm sharing my own personal story here and my five different revenue streams because I think what I'm doing is somewhat easy to replicate and even though I'm not rich now, I could certainly be wealthy in the future as these different revenue streams increase. Just because you can get by with one revenue source doesn't mean you should, especially when that 
one is inconsistent like personal training. That's not a good game plan. So all in all, you can't get rich from just personal training. That being said, becoming a successful personal trainer could get you other opportunities that could potentially lead to more money. What do you guys think about all this money stuff though? It's always a bit of a strange topic, but I think these discussions are important to have. Make sure to let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. And if you haven't already, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel because this does help the channel to grow and that does allow me to create more free content for all of you. Thanks for watching everyone and until next time, stay sort of healthy.